This conference will now be recorded. Hi, dear all. Today I will explain you sound. That's the first lesson of sound. Right, name of topic on your notebook, please. And now I will share uh, presentation. And this look at pre from presentation. I will explain main parts. So. Look at here, please. So sound. Look at uh, learning objectives, exact specifications. First, understand that sound waves are a longitudinal wave which can be reflected, refracted. Understand how an oscilloscope and microphone can be used to display a sound wave. Use the relationship between frequency and time period. Relate the loudness of a sound to the amplitude of vibration. Relate the pitch of a sound to the frequency, okay, to the frequency of vibration of source. Know that the frequency range for human hearing between 20 Hz and 20,000 hertz. Describe how to measure the speed of sound, sound in air. Describe an experiment using an oscilloscope to determine the frequency of a sound wave. Okay, so they are learning objectives. Now look at here. So sound. Sound is produced by vibrating objects. A sound consists of uh, mechanical vibrations in air and other substances, and other substances. Okay, and next, next, sound is a longitudinal wave in which the wave energy travels in the same direction as the particles within the wave vibrate. So do you remember we talked about longitudinal wave and transverse wave? And we told that for longitudinal wave, look at here, please. Uh, so look at this arrow. For longitudinal wave, wave direction, wave uh, direction and, and vibrations, they are along the same axis, x-axis. They are in the same direction, OK? Then uh, now look at this picture no sound wave there is no sound wave okay but for second for for second picture see for this picture you, you see that there is rarefaction and compressions rarefactions is this part okay and compressions is this part okay compressions and rarefactions the wavelengths, the wavelengths of a sound wave is equal to the distance between the center of two successive compressions. Okay. So let me draw its picture and let me show main parts on the board. Have a look, please. So. Look at this picture. We told that sound, it uh, sound is longitudinal wave and it consists of compressions and rarefactions. Yes, compressions and rarefactions. Look. Okay. So this part is refraction. This part, they are refractions. Okay, I have got here R R. We said they are refractions. And another part, 
here compression okay and I will write here cc means that compression part okay and distance between two compressions uh, or two rarefactions distance between two compressions or rarefactions it's called wavelengths for example this one is distance between two compressions yes it's called wavelengths it is wavelengths wavelengths okay let's continue next okay so you see that we talked about this part let me turn off camera okay sound waves on an oscilloscope by using oscilloscope oscilloscope we can see paths of sound wave and a oscilloscope is a device with list and a oscilloscope is a device that with a microphone attached can be used to display a sound wave so this device is called oscilloscope okay the screen displays a graph of how amplitude of a sound wave varies with time so see look at this graph so it is a graph of sine wave okay sine function sine wave next and loudness uh, the loudness of a sound increases with amplitude of the sound wave it's it's directly proportional with the amplitude see this one it is quiet okay so second red color quiet and blue color is loud okay louder compared with uh, red color so loudness is directly proportional with amplitude more amplitude means that more amplitude means that more loudness uh, but pitch is directly proportional with frequency the pitch of a musical note increases with frequency low pitch and high pitch okay low pitch and high pitch so you see that compared with first one compared with red color blue color uh, they, they are close together yes they are close together low pitch and high pitch okay so let me draw it on the board and let me explain it okay so have a look please okay imagine that okay so the scrap of sine function the scrap of sine function and so here is x-axis and here is y-axis yes here is y-axis and this part is x-axis x-axis in here you see that you remember we talked about uh, amplitude and wavelengths so let me show let me show them on the graph so amplitude this part is amplitude amplitude their amplitude okay it simply is a so what's it amplitude yes but another part here distance between two crests what's the name of this part crest is also crest okay they are crest and here trough 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 okay so distance between two crests or two troughs 
to crests or to troughs. It's called wavelength. What's its name? So it is wavelength. Wavelength. Okay. And simple wavelength is lambda. It's quickly lambda. Okay, so amplitude is uh, distance between resting point. It's called resting point. X axis is resting point. Distance between resting point and crest is called amplitude. Maximum or maximum distance from resting point is called amplitude. Okay, uh, but wavelength it's distance between two crests or two troughs. Here is also wavelength. Look at here. Here is also wavelength. Okay. Yes. And next, uh, so copy this part on your notebook, uh, pause video, and first copy this part. Okay. Later, let's continue. Let's continue. So now I will I will show you uh, simulation simulation from FET physics we are always using FET physics uh, for simulations it's it's where we we'll understand topic better okay so now follow me please let me share my screen my computer screen so Yes, so right, flat physics simulations, flat physics simulations, and click first one. Okay, sound and waves. Click this one, follow me please. Then, Waves introduction part, first one, waves introduction part. So click it. Sound. Okay, so you see that. Uh, so you see that there is this button when you click it. So it creates sound. It creates sound. Yes. And we, there is side view and top view. Side view and top view. Okay. And what's the difference between this and this? So when I click second one, see? It's like this. So it's four seconds. And when I choose first one, it is like this. Yes. Okay. Uh, additionally, from from here, uh, we can click this button and we can we can see graph. It's graph. Yes, like this. Okay. And uh, so later, click second one. You hear hear sound, yes. And as a particle, like this. Okay, see how particles are moving. And both of them. Okay. Now look at both of them. Okay. Additionally, from this part, we can uh, from this part look at graph, please. From this part, we can increase and decrease frequency. Okay. Let's choose waves part and see when we what happens when we increase and decrease when we are increasing and decreasing frequency. When we are decreasing frequency, it is like this. But when we are when we are increasing frequency, 
it is like this. Yes, they are close together. And let's put it here. And when we decrease amplitude, yeah, so see, distance from resting or equilibrium point is less. But when we increase amplitude, look at difference. So that's difference between them. Yes? Yeah, that's the main difference between them. So more amplitude and less amplitude. And let's put it here. More frequency, more frequency and less frequency. Less frequency. Okay. More frequency and less frequency. Okay, that's uh, end of first lesson. See you on the second lesson. Take care.